Hey, welcome back to Blar. Star Wars Day, May 4th. Gonna do an unboxing of Black Series Costco Reeves. It was from The Mandalorian. So I just don't pick up too much of this kind of stuff, the newer stuff, uh, unless I see it cheap. This is actually cheaper than, I guess, the average ones. I picked this up, though, mainly because it's played by WWE Superstar Sasha Banks. He plays Costco Reeves in The Mandalorian. So if you don't know who Sasha Banks is, look up Top Moves of Sasha Banks. You'll be impressed. So pretty cool that they had a WAB superstar come over to the Star Wars universe. Even though new Star Wars is terrible and I pretty much hate everything Disney's done to it. Except the Mandalorian stuff. So this is pretty cool looking action figure I thought. Like the blue armor, the helmet. Plus me and Sasha Banks kind of sold it. So let's open it up. Check it out. Okay, here we have Casca Reeves from the Mandalorian. Some art right there. It's pretty cool. It's actually has their jetpack, dual blasters. So again, the cool blue armor, which I thought was kind of good looking. And a little blurb on the back, Master Panda in combat. Casca, Casca Reeves is loyal to Bo-Katan, member of Band of Clan, Crazy Mandalorians, Cries Mandalorians, striking back at the Imperial Remnant. So, good guy, I guess. Let's check out how the action figure looks. Looks good in the box, but Amazon, yeah, it came, I think it came looking like that. So that's unfortunate. It's not a big deal to me, but if you're a collector, that's, that really kind of does suck. So this is probably the third or fourth box I've probably shown that that's happened to. It's happened to Liv Morgan uh, and a couple others. So that is unfortunate if you're an inbox collector. Let's get this off here. Helps if you cut off all the tape. It does help. Slides out good. So you could keep the box if you did have it nice and intact. You could keep it, I guess. Maybe we will, I don't know. Alright, so. Not too many accessories, it's just fine by me. Um, oh, there's a, an over case, which is nice. I guess this is probably just warranty or whatever. Put it aside. Our guns are taped in. What else is taped in? That's it. I, mean, I always worry about like the stuff like this antenna. Like, <laughs> this gonna just pop. Uh, let me peek first. Oh, yeah. um, and pull down. There we go. Uh, let's see. Tape off, so hard to see. Yeah. All right. So jetpack, standard Mandalorian equipment, two blasters, and then here we have the action figure itself. So these don't have any. Elbow joint articulation. It's gonna be straight shooting. It looks like. I don't think I've unboxed the, one of these because I have the Luke Skywalker, but I left him in the box. So they feel pretty good. Almost like a plastic slash rubbery kind of finish, I guess. Uh, the antenna does move, which I guess is good. I mean, for display, it's good. I guess so. Put it down. That's kind of cool. And let's see here. 
Got their insignia. That is probably, is that a flamethrower for her or probably grappling hook? And whatever that is, hopefully that's not a stain. I can't really tell. Let's see. Look at that. Well, maybe someone can tell me if that's supposed to be there. That stain. So I really, I don't know. So it looks like it's not supposed to be there to me. But maybe it's oil that leaks out of this thing. We'll go with that. So that fits on nicely. And that's a holster, which is cool. Just one. So it looks like one goes in the holster. And she holds one. Probably dual wheels, I would think. So this hand is closed all the way. Yeah. Both hands. Not quite. So I'm not going to force it in there. There I am. So it looks like you can finagle it in there pretty easy if you know what you're doing. <laughs> but I'm not going to go ahead and push it too far because I don't want to snap anything. And I do like the way it looks. I mean, I guess I'll probably never see that spots on the back there, but see how it looks in the holster. Uh, must be the other guy. <laughs> They're the same, right? Yeah, the same. Let's see. Okay. That looks better. I guess it would look kind of maybe hokey if she had two side holsters. The one looks probably actually a little bit better. I mean, it'd be nice to, like, for storage-wise, have them both here, I guess. I don't know. But I do like the way this looks. I said it, like, five times now. But it does look good. I like the blue armor. And it has, like, the wear and tear. I guess that's this oil stains because it has it up front here as well. So I guess it's supposed to be like that. So it's been like a weathered look. Uh, the helmet does come off. I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> so there is Tosca Reeves, a.k.a. Sasha Banks. That's pretty cool. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good head sculpt. I know my camera is not picking up super well, but let's see if we get any better here. Yeah, it looks good. Got the hair braided to the ponytail back there. That looks efficient. Look at the headband kind of thing. Uh, it does have knee joints that work very well. And I'll we'll sit all the way down. That's good. I am impressed with this action figure. I like this one a lot. I should have had a Sasha Banks handy for a comparison. That's right. Hold it back on. So it's not too snug. It's not too loose. That's good. Got some uh, battle damage on there. Looks really good. So this is Tosca Reeves, aka Sasha Banks. The Black Series. I'm looking for the box. It's better that way. <laughs> so, Star Wars Black Series, Costco Reeves. I believe I got it under $10 off Amazon. I think it's probably still around that price. Uh, if you're a WWE fan, I would suggest getting it. If you're a Star Wars fan, I would suggest it. If you're an action figure fan, I would suggest this action figure. It's cool looking. I like everything about it. Um, yeah. Let's not stand up, right? <laughs> yep, stands good. Not too many accessories to lose. That's always a plus. And some stories on the action figure. It looks good. Removable helmet. So one more. Take it one more look. Yeah.
So, uh, I guess happy Star Wars Day. And thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.